Well, hello guys and welcome to another uh, Naraja API tutorial with uh, Python. My name is Ben. So we proceed from your left. So I have my Python app. Now we, in our class, previous class, we did uh, access token. We did register URL. And in this class, we are supposed to proceed from the left. So to start things off, I will uh, write the route for simulation. And simulation is where someone pays the money to your business directly from their phone. So I'll write the route. So up the route and simulate. And it's supposed to be a route. So I'll put the one slash there. And I'll find the method for it or a function for the same. So simulate. And uh, here we'll start with the MPESA uh, URL, which is the endpoint that they've provided for us. And uh, this will invoke the payment followed by header. That should be a JSON object. And this authorization there, then we'll pass our access token there. So what I'm going to do is I'll, tell, I'll say as access token, but I'll define this um, variable up here and call the function that we had created for generating the access token. And that function is right here. If you followed our previous class, you can see how we did that. The next thing is I want to write the body, the request body, which is a JSON object with a short code and uh, followed by the command ID for the transaction. We also need to provide the bill rate number, which is like the account number. Then we we'll also need the mobile number that is paying this one is obtained from the test credentials so let uh, let us use 600 383 uh, short code the command it is customer paying bill and the spelling must be like this pay bill online uh, bill ref let me just say tests pay one and then the mobile number I've done enough tests to like count this number so I see zero seven zero eight three seven four one four nine great then we'll also need to provide the amount the amount of money that we are paying and in this case I'm just going to provide a hundred shillings from there now we'll create another like variable this way you're going to save the response that we're getting after we make the request so it's going to be a similar response is request that post then MPESA endpoint then we'll provide the JSON body which is the same amount our request body then we we'll pass the headers and the headers that are our headers are there once we are through with this we'll just return the simulate response but we won't send the JSON part so simulate response JSON then we we'll copy the endpoint for MPESA to paste it there then now we are ready to test this so uh, open my postman successful uh, now there's some changes we need to do here and the first the if you use the way it is you'll get an error here because it is returning by so we have to change this one so we can write the JSON data then we also need to return what MPS is expecting that is the response code and the result description this result code and this is supposed to be also on validation and I'll show you in our next class what is going to happen now as you can see we don't have these two files the validation and the confirmation on our project file so once I run simulation let me create it and change it to simulate if I say send if we go back you'll see that we have two files we have confirmation with all our response and validation with the response uh, let me introduce something else that uh, will verify that this request is coming from us. So I'll add on our validation. I will send 
than party transaction ID and let me see whether it will just say yay my server. So I need to put there yes and then start again the server because I had a header syntax error. So let me delete these two files so we can recreate them. server that is on confirmation but on validation it's not there because when we were requested about it we didn't provide I mean we provided on our second spot so if I remove this if you don't validate if you don't return the result code as zero what will happen will you get a confirmation so let's see so let's send that one and we can only get the validation now it's like we have cancelled the transaction on our end. That is now the transaction has failed literally. So let's return it back and I'm happy that uh, we are through this part. Uh, sorry for the delays in uh, producing the or uploading the videos, but I'm doing my best to ensure that we do. So our next one is going to be SDK. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe and let's meet you on next.